What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today we're gonna to be doing a kind of different video. We are gonna be testing out different calibers on car tires, so let's get right into it. So like I said before the intro rolled, we are gonna be testing different calibers on car tires and I have a ton of different uh, different pistols, rifles, all kinds of stuff out here today and we're gonna be seeing which one of these will go through these tires the furthest. So I have four of them. I'm gonna be shooting them from back there up at the truck, which is not too, it's, it's like 15 yards away. Um, and we're gonna be seeing what bullet will go through these tires the most. So I'm gonna start out low, kind of like Kind of like a demolition or um, Kentucky ballistics fashion. And we'll start out with the 22, and I'm gonna work my way up. Um, I've been wanting to get into more like different videos than uh, just reviews and just vlogs, different like testing stuff. I want to start getting into long range shooting too. Or long range shooting. I want to get into that a little bit more now. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna spice it up this time, and I'll see how you guys like it, and we'll go from there. All right, so the first thing we're going to be shooting is the 22 at the uh, at the tires. Let's, let's, let's get it. I don't see a hole. I thought that was it, but that's a rock. Let's check on the other side. So, I don't know if you can see it or not. The 22 left a hole right there. It came through, and it hit back in, in there. It didn't go through. It went through the front of the first tire and didn't go all the way through the other side of the tire. So that, that was to be expected. I didn't really, I didn't really think that the uh, 22 would do much. Let's try the nine millimeter now, all right? So this is the nine millimeter. This is a 9.2 FS. Let's see how many uh, tires this thing will shoot through. Let's go check it out. So, I can find the entry hole. The entry hole is over here. But I also can't find the exit hole. So, I don't know if the 9mm is passing through and just flying off to the side or if it's stopping on that second wall as well. Um, I think I can find a dent, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna go try bigger, better things. Um, we're moving to uh, 45 ACP now. All right. So let's go. Let's go test that out. So now we're gonna be trying the 45 ACP. Let's give her a go. See, see if it, this one will go through it. Let's go check it out. We've, we've had trouble looking in the first one, but we moved to the second tire and there was two holes in it on the entrance side. So I think the nine millimeter and the 45 both went in here. And then I've looked at this third tire right here and I think the 45 is stuck right here. I think the 45 is stuck. I can feel, feel like the bullet or the metal. Ow! Yeah, the metal. Um, I'm not sure if that's the tire metal or if that is the uh, the bullet metal because there's metal in tires. But yeah, yeah, nothing in this one, nothing in the fourth one. But definitely something in that third tire. So I bet with the 357 we might get all the way into this fourth tire right here. So uh, let's go try the 357. So now we are going to try the 357. Uh, this is about the same size as the 45, but I feel like 357 has a little bit more warmth to it. So let's uh, let's test this one out. It was definitely a warmth. Let's go uh, look at it. So I just now noticed 357, uh, or I'm pretty sure this is 357. That is a whopper of a hole, though. Did it leave an exit hole? 
I can never tell. Oh, maybe it did. That's that's a pretty pretty good size hole. So the 357 bullet whew, flies everywhere. 357 bullet went off course just a little bit, so I think it ended up shooting it into the ground after it passed through the second tire. So I'm going to shoot it another round, and uh, hopefully this will be a little bit better aligned. Let's take two on that 357. We're going to get a little bit closer, make sure I can shoot straight. I saw it move, didn't you, honey? Mm-hmm. So we can't find the 357 in the uh, in any of the last two tires. I keep finding it. I think I'm shooting too much an angle, but we're just going to move right on to the 556. I'm going to go prone to shoot this. So hopefully it'll have a more straight path passing through these tires. So uh, let's go shoot the 556. All right. So now I'm going to try the 556. Uh, this is a diamond back. So uh, let's see if I can pass a bullet through these things. Hope that worked. And that one. The idea with the 556, I know it's a lot smaller than the 45, but it is moving a lot faster, so. If it made it through any, all of them, it would be that one. So I don't think it made it to the fourth tire. There's some shrapnel in here. There's two marks. Oh, right here's a bullet. Look at that. It got stopped coming out. I wonder which one that one is. I can't tell. It might be a 357. But that got stopped coming through the last tire. Let's go try something bigger. Let's go try an uh, 7.62 SKS. Now we're going to try the 7.62 by 39. This is a 30 caliber bullet. Uh, a lot more power behind it, so maybe it'll pass through all of them and not get stuck in that last third tire. All right. I smell burnt tire. There's a ton of crap in there. Golly, you can see where it ripped through that. There's no way that this one didn't make it all the way through. Did it hit, Dave? It doesn't look like it hit. Here's a bullet. Or what's left of a bullet. I held it out right. there. You, your finger was covering it. Oh, right here it is. Yep. That sucker angled out of the sidewall. I guess kept going. Let me give the SK another shot. Let's we'll see if we can make it through. So it's aiming more towards that side. You can there's oh this def, yeah I definitely went through it. Holy crap, that's a hole. Look at that. That is a massive old hole. So I bet you anything. Yeah. It passed right through that one. And came right out here. That SK, it went, it went clean through it. I guess we can just shoot the last ones for the heck of it. We still have a 308 and a 30-06 to try. So let's go, let's go use the 308. So now we have the 308. This is a Diamondback. Um, 308 will probably absolutely destroy all these, but we'll still give it a wham anyway. I shook the tire. I'm gonna give it another one. Alright, golly, you can smell where the tires are burning. Oh yeah, big old hole right here. Ow, big old hole right there. I threw it with humming. Alright, let's go shoot that Mauser. It's been a minute since I've shot that thing. 
Now we have a Mauser. This is a Brazilian Mauser. Uh, my grandfather refinished it. It's chambered in 30 6 It's just a cool gun. I haven't done a review on it on the channel. Probably will at some point in time. But uh, let's see. See how it does to some tires. This is basically just like a 308, but a little bit more whomp behind it. And then I'm bother looking at those. The insides of these tires are just absolutely demolished. See if anybody can. Well, let's see if you can get down in there. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely just gonzoed. There's all kinds of bullet fragments in that one. Tires don't stand up very well to, uh, to being shot. A massive hole out of that end right there. So guys, I think that about does it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please go like, subscribe, comment down below what you think of the video and whether you'd like more videos like this. These are a little bit different. Um, I'm not used to doing like these testing shooting videos. I'm used to reviewing firearms and doing like other stuff like that. So let me know what you think about it. Go comment. Oh gosh, excuse me. Go comment down below. Also, go check out our podcast. Me, Hunter, and uh, my brother did a podcast last night. It'll be up on Thursday. It's on the Take Someone Outdoors channel. So just Google Take Someone Outdoors or on YouTube, Google, or not Google, YouTube's Take Someone Outdoors and you can find our podcast. Um, it's not really an outdoorsy podcast. We really talk about anything. Like last night, we talked about video games and what we thought of uh, the gaming world right now and it's just it's just more personal for us. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed as always take someone outdoors and I will see y'all next time